What's going on today guys? Welcome to another episode of uh, Ghost Mo Vlogs. In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to remove the transmission fluid from the pan on your, uh, the transmission pan on your vehicle. I had a problem yesterday, I stripped the drain bolt on the bottom of the pan and so I wasn't able to drain the fluid out of my uh, transmission pan. Uh, I don't really want to get into taking the pan off of this truck. Uh, I don't have time, number one. Uh, you have to unbolt the uh, Y-pipe and remove the shift linkage and it's, and it's a messy job. So good old YouTube comes to the rescue and didn't I find a way to do this that is super cheap. I spent 63 cents a foot on some nylon tubing, 3 8 OD. And I had this old jerry can laying around for free. I do a lot of junk runs, so I get these for free all the time. I have more of these than I know what to do with. I drilled a, a hole in the back for my 3 8 OD uh, nylon tubing. It fits in super snug, tight, and uh, airtight. And uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our shop vac and we're going to stick it in this end. All right, so you've got your shop vac with your attachment on the end. And you're going to stick it in the top of the, pan, of the gas can and get it in there nice and tight. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure that this end, make sure that both are up high because you don't want the vacuum sucking up any of the fluid. So as it sucks the fluid, it's going to drop to the bottom of the container but the suction's coming from the top. So right now, we're gonna try and get this a little bit more straight. Yeah, that should do just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn our vacuum on and we're gonna see if this works. When you put your nylon tubing into the dipstick tube, and what I'm gonna recommend you do before you uh, go out and buy the tubing is measure the hole to make sure that you get the right size. My opening was just over half an inch so 3 8 works perfect. I recommend a nylon tubing because it's more rigid. You're going to have to push it in about three feet so you're not going to want to have some soft uh, tubing that's going to kink up on you when you're pushing it in. Just take the nylon tubing, slide it in until it bottoms out. I also pulled mine out once just to make sure that it did make its way into the pan and it did. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn our vacuum on and see if this creates enough suction to suck out what's in the bottom of that pan. <laughs> Now one thing I will tell you, this does take a long time, It's I've been going at this for probably about 20 minutes now and I've only maybe got a liter out, so, but hey, it's a lot neater and cleaner than dropping the pan, you know what I mean, so, if you like the video, give me that thumbs up, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, and uh, if you got any questions or concerns, you can just leave me a comment down there, and until next time guys, cheers.